Tell your bitch don't hit my line unless she tryna buy some weed My lil' hoe she like the fuck, I smack her ass and pull the weed Her lil' nigga don't beat it right, I know she hate it when I leave My lil' cool girl like the trick, so when I fuck she spin the G What up, it's your boy King Jordan We back with another video Yes, uh, pa, we here What's going on y'all, man, look I appreciate all of y'all that's tuning in Man, hey, I just wanna tell y'all I wanna tell y'all, man Thank y'all for turning up for me, man. Like, man, the likes is going up, the views is going up. I be trying to challenge myself to see how many people are gonna view my stuff in two minutes. And I'm telling you, it's over 20 to 30 people that view my stuff in just two minutes, man. I, I appreciate y'all that got post notifications on. I appreciate y'all that got all the likes on. Man, I'm going hard with y'all. I'm gonna keep dropping content all the way to 2K21 every single day. And I just wanna give y'all a fire tutorial on my badges, on my slashing badges. Cause everybody always say, Jordan, what slashing badges do you use? And I wanna be able to give y'all the best so I can challenge myself so I can get better. So y'all can come and use it against me and your boy, it's sharpening your boy, iron sharpening iron. So look, I appreciate all of y'all. If y'all see this, like the video, man. Smash the like button if you knew and i just hope that you you know just stay with me continually support me support me please share this up tell your friends man man the higher i go the higher we go because i'll be able to do more for y'all also too i'm going to be giving out a free copy of 2k21 so look tell your friends right now man y'all hurry up and go subscribe y'all y'all definitely stay tuned all my subscribers i appreciate y'all because man yes your boy's giving out a copy of 2k21 and maybe it'll be you that win that because i know how i feel you know trying to purchase a new game when a new game come out you know especially when you you know you got things that you gotta do or or maybe you know your mom can't buy it or maybe you can't buy it for yourself at that time so i just want to bless somebody so man tell people that we got we got a free 2K, 2K copy of 2K21 coming out. And, uh, man, I just appreciate all y'all, man. Hey, so enjoy the video. Not going to keep y'all going long. Let's go. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, King Jordan. We back with another video. Yes, I probably here. Hey, I just want to go over some of my badges. I have a lot of um, subscribers asking me about my badges and what I use for slashing badges. So I'm getting ready to share that with y'all, man. If y'all haven't noticed, um, some people call me the Hop Step King. Some people call me, you know, um, one of the best slashers in the game, man. So I just wanna just, you know, just show y'all, man, what I use, all right? So here we go, and I'll break it down why I use it, too, as well, too. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, I got one, let's go. All right. So, for slashing badges, this guy, I only have nine slashing badges. Um, normally, I say the most slashing badges you would want to go for is 12. But since I knew what I could do and I knew my guy, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go with nine with this guy because I can make it work. But normally, you want to have 12. 12 is the magic number for what you want to have. So we're gonna act like we just have 12, okay? Because I forgot that I only had nine. So we're gonna act like we only have 12, okay? So if you made a new slash, okay? First thing you want to do is you want to put fancy footwork on, on gold. Gold is key, okay? 
When you put fantasy footwork on gold, gold gives you like all the big animation hop steps, all the hop steps that you know that you see people do when they come out of the cross and they seem like they glide, they glide against the court and they just over hop over, hop step over you. Oh man, I could tell you woke up. Um, fancy footwork is a good bash to use. You want that on gold, okay? Um, slippery finisher. Slippery, slippery finisher is a great bash to have on gold too, because like say if you 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 know you cross up your opponent and some reason why your opponent keeps sticking on you. When you go to the basket, it'll be harder for them. It'll feel like they're sliding off of you. A lot of people will be like, man, I feel like I'm sliding off of you. Like I can't, like I can't stay locked on you. Slippery finisher is really, really good because it helps you be able to get, it helps you be able to get open and get to the rim without contact or, or without any type of, um, um, you know, attack towards the rim. So I usually use this on gold. I keep it on gold for sure. Now, another badge that you don't see on gold that I recommend is contact finishing. A lot of people underestimate this badge. The reason why, I don't know why, but they feel like contact finishing doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Well, what contact finisher does is, contact finisher helps you finish at the rim. If you notice, every single time I hop step, my guy is not laying up the ball. He's dunking the ball every single time. The reason why is, because when I have this on silver or gold, I recommend it on gold. It, it makes your ability to finish at the rim. If you if you're a dunker, it makes you be able to dunk more. If you if you if you can't dunk, you can only lay up. It makes you um, finish at the rim with layups. So at the end of the day, you want to have this badge on silver and gold, no matter what. Silver and gold, okay. Silver and gold is what you want to have. Now, this is an important badge right here, especially for all my front guards, man. Anybody that's 6'5", anybody that's, uh, I say 6'8", too. 6'8", um, and, and lower. This badge you want to have on. Because, see, what happens to me is when I get past my defender, I usually, the big man usually step up on me. And when I hop step him, I be in front of him. But y'all all know how intimidating, um, how that badge intimidator really, really um, affects you. Even if he's not even in front of you, and even though if he's behind you, you will still miss that layup or that dunk just because his intimidator is on. So if I was y'all, and I'm rocking it on bronze because you know, right now this is, you know, I gotta work for what I got until I hit legend. But if I was y'all, I would definitely rock this badge on silver and gold. Gold is recommended because when you're able to get to the rim, and when you have that little, when you fake them, and you have that little layup to the right, you know how you hop step and you have that little layup to the right or the left? You know, sometimes you don't finish that because he's intimidated. Or sometimes if you're in front of him, you will miss the layup because his intimidator is right, you know, he's right behind you and his intimidator kick in. So when you have this badge on silver and gold, you don't have to worry about his intimidator no more because you're going to finish at the rim because Giant Slayer helps you. I'm telling you this, man. If you don't do it, do it for me. Just do it for me. If you, if, if you don't do it for anybody else, just do it for me because I'm telling you. Silver and gold is a plus. Now, I got it on bronze because I'm able to work with it. Now, since you stayed with me, because this video is not going to be long, since you stayed with me, I'm going to give you the secret. I'm going to give you the secret. Everybody be like, Jordan, how do you hop step the way that you do? How It's got to be something that you do in the hop step the way you do because you, you shouldn't be hop stepping like that, like, you know? And you can't change your hop step. But actually, you can. Let me tell you why. Okay, give me all the sauce, man. Downhill. Downhill makes you change your hop step. I'm telling you this right now, okay? I recommend if you got all these badges on Hall of Fame, go downhill for Hall of Fame. Gold is good, but Hall of Fame downhill is just unreal, okay? Because it changes your hop step because it gives you an explosiveness when you go to the rim. When you go to the rim on a snatch back or when I come out when I come out of a, a hezzy or anything like that, I use this downhill badge. If you look downhills will activate every single time. I'm giving y'all the sauce because I want to get better. How can I get better if I don't motivate y'all to get better to challenge me? So I don't want to hold anything from y'all. So look. 
put downhill on because even though on twos, even though you feel like you're not going down the court, it's just a half court, when you catch that ball and when you come out of catching the ball and going to a size up and come out of that size up and be able to hop step your opponent, you'll see your, you'll see your hop steps totally change. Look, I gave y'all the tips. I can't do any more. Hey, it's your boy, King Jordan. I appreciate all of y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed, man. Hey, shout out to the people that came in here. Shout out to, um, I, I can never say your name right. I'm gonna say um, QX. Shout out to Sammy. Shout out to Jones. Um, shout out to um, QT. And um, shout out to Little Brother. I, I, I see you. And shout out to Nate. And shout out to um, QT again, man. I appreciate y'all. We definitely on the legend grind, man. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Hey, I hope these badges bless y'all, man. Please, this video will be, this video will be up in a minute. So, hey, check it out. Hey, y'all boys, stay up, man. Love, peace.